Okay, welcome. Another GeoGuessr video. Doing the same thing as last time. Uh, just three minutes per round. I can move, I can pan, I can zoom. And this is on the world map. So let's dive right into it and see how we do here. All right, right away, we're in the United States. We are on Liberty and it looks like Woodland. No, Mulholland, Liberty and Mulholland. We have a very interesting sort of um, decal on the signs here. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. That's hard to say. It kind of looks like a column, which makes me think this might be a college town. Um, it definitely gives off the energy of a college town. But let's just go this way and see what we find. Oh, trash cans. You should always look at the trash cans. Saw one back there. The bus sign as well might be helpful. Mm. It looks like the sides might have something. That might just be Republic Services. Oh, no, that's a city of something. Hold on. Let's get a closer look at that. Oh, come on. City of something something. Okay, well, I don't want to waste too much time looking too closely at the trash can. Ann Arbor. Okay, it is a college town. Nice. All right, we're in Ann Arbor. Um, let's go back to the start. We were at Liberty and Mulholland. This is similar to our last start. Wow, I really do need a new mouse, huh? Okay, Liberty and Mulholland. So I think Mulholland, or no, Liberty's the main road here. Um, I'm just gonna put this here for now, but let's try to find this. Okay, it would help to know what direction we're going. We're going east-west. There's a 7th Street as well. That might be really helpful. So east-west, we're looking, there's Liberty. So as we move across here, let's see if we see 7th or anything like that. We can get a perfect score to start here. I'm feeling good about this. There's 3rd, there's 2nd, here's 7th. Is this Mulholland? We're right there. Okay, perfect score first round. Can't complain about that. On to the next round. This looks like it's going to be Bangladesh, maybe? No, this actually might be India. See, I'm not used to the Indian rounds in GeoGuessr. This is something that's kind of new to me. There is a lot of English. No, no, I think this must be something else. And we're stuck here. We, we can't really go anywhere besides this little street. Wow. Okay. So we gotta work with what we have here. See, that looks Bengali right there, but then this is definitely not Bengali. Let's compare it to the map. See, this looks more like what you would see in the south. So I'm thinking we're down here somewhere. I'm thinking we're close to like Bengaluru, like this big dry patch here. What's on this bus? Okay. Nothing super useful there. Something that starts with a G, but I don't think that's going to help much. Um, I'm just looking around to see. But as we go north, it looks less and less like what I'm looking for. Unless that says... It looks like G-R-O something. And I think searching the map right now will not be super helpful. So I'm just going to look around for clues. Anything that might be useful. Because I'm nervous this is like a totally different country. Um, just to ease my mind, I'm just going to double check. Oh man, see, I was worried that Myanmar might have... A similar alphabet like what if it's that um, I don't think it is though 
In fact, I'm almost positive it is not Myanmar. So it, it must be somewhere in India. Um, I'm leaning towards Bengaluru. I think it kind of gets me the most points. Um, but I'm really nervous it's up here. I'm going to... I've got 27 seconds. Yeah, I think I'm just going to guess here and hope for the best. Uh, it was a little further north than I was hoping. A lot further north than I was hoping. Wow. Okay. I mean, I just can't see a way that I would have gotten that. What did that say? No, yeah. I, I don't see a way I would have gotten that. Um, But I was, it was between those two parts of the country. So we'll move forward. This is definitely the United States. Greenwood Ridge Vineyards. Okay. That could be very useful, especially because I think we're in California. Yeah. So we must be near like Napa Valley. I'm going to go this way. I just feel good about it. So we're going south. The only other place this could really be is like northern Arizona, but I am almost positive that this is Napa Valley, California area, and we've got a nice sign coming up here that might be very useful. Handy Wood State Park and Elk. So let's look for Elk, California. Elk, California, which I'm trying to remember where Napa Valley is. I think it's like just north of here. Well, that says grapevine, so that makes me think maybe I am looking in the right area. Elk. Let me go this way a little bit. I'm just looking for Elk, California. I think that'll be the thing that sticks out the quickest. Um, there's Napa. Okay, that's a good sign. It's a little more busy than I was expecting, like a lot more streets. Um, I'm half. No, I don't really have a ton of time, so I'm just going to put it here for now, but I th think I can find elk if I just look. Wait. No, okay. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little more. I don't think we're this far north. I think we're around here somewhere. Um, this looks fairly hilly, so I'm thinking maybe this way a bit more. Oh, I've kind of looked in this area already. Let's go south just a bit. I've got 40 seconds left. I'm just thinking of what would be prime wine country in California. And then when it says like woods and stuff, and it says swimming there. So maybe we are close to these, la these lakes and stuff. I'm feeling like good about this area here. Even if I don't think we're right on top of it, like I think I'm gonna just put up here. This says Eldridge. I know it's not quite the same, but there's state parks and stuff around here. I guess I'm gonna lock it in. It's a little further north, 74 miles, but there's elk, it's on the coast actually, but I, I can't complain about that. Um, you know, I was a little nervous to go this far north, so I'll take those points. This looks like it's gonna be a tough one. Oh man, okay, first thing I'm gonna do, where is the sun at? The sun is not helpful, okay. Uh, if I knew poles, it would help a ton. It's a little too orange. The, the dirt is a little too orange to be Mexico. Um, I mean, it's like the dirt is really orange. It could be Brazil, but this looks so dry. I would honestly lean Australia if it weren't for the sun being... Oh, wow. And then this just becomes a regular road. Oh, it, it is Brazil. Look at that. Back of the sign is uh, black. Okay, well, that's that's good. Um, it's good that we know what country it is. It's bad because we know it's Brazil, and Brazil is very difficult. 
let's just see if we can find any useful sign. So like this sign, we get a pretty good view of. Yeah. It's not really going to help me much. I mean, I will say this, like, judging from the la landscape, I think we're close to the Argentina border, which is helpful. I just have to kind of decide, like, you know, how much am I willing to gamble here? Because the closer I guess to a population center, I feel like the more correct, like the more likely I'll be to be correct. But this road just kind of seems to go on forever. There are mountains out there to the south, which really makes me think we're close to Argentina. So if we've got like mountains and things to the south, um, I mean, shoot, like or Uruguay, like could be around here. I think we're pretty close to Uruguay. Like, I don't think we're that close, but I think we're around here. I'm, I've got 49 seconds. I'm just going to keep going down this road. I don't expect to find anything other than this big sign here, which I don't think it's going to tell me anything that I can actually use. Yeah. But the road is in fairly good shape, uh, especially for Brazil. And this is just so like different from my usual Brazil rounds that it makes me think it must be significantly more to the south. Oh, wow. This is it's a shame I'm just finding this now. BR 110. Man, it's a really a shame I'm just finding this now. Right there. Oh, I shouldn't. <laughs> no, it was so far north. That was so far north. Oh my goodness. Okay. I see 110 there. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I guess it was close. We were close to the ocean. That must have been. Must have been it. Oh, that's funny. I mean, at least I got the country right, but couldn't have been more wrong on location. Um, this is a nice little round, though. Last round. Um, we might even be able to get a, a good score here. Um, it's clearly in France. Um, I mean, that's like Bank of Paris. I don't know if that means we're in Paris. Although I would argue that that is a pretty useful indicator of where we are. Um, so if the Eiffel Tower, which I'm assuming that's what that is, is to the northwest, then we just have to put a guess. Now this is the embarrassing part. I always forget where the Eiffel Tower actually is. Okay, the Eiffel Tower is right there. So it we would be like around here somewhere. Probably like around here if I can zoom in. And let's go back to the start and see what the road names were. It was, okay doesn't exactly help. Let's see where Park Andre Citroen is. Can we find that? There's a lot of parks. That might be hard to find. There's a lot of parks named after a lot of people. Okay. The Eiffel Tower is right there, so we actually might be a little more over here. Like, what park is this? You know what? I'm absolutely wasting my time doing that. Let's... De la Convention. We'll look for Convention Road. I'm just going to put that there just in case I lose track of time, but... <sighs> convention Road. It's a good thing the roads here are very straight and easy to... Easy to look through. Man, it's so, like, it's not difficult at all to, like, mix up what roads you've looked at. What is this? Avenue de Suffren? Yes, I, I'm definitely suffering. That is a good observation by the streets of Paris. Um, well, shoot. I mean, I guess there's really no reason to try to get a perfect score here because 
the game is sort of long shot, but I guess if I'm like around here, yeah, I think I'm going to change my guess to like right here. Where was that? Oh my gosh. How did, how did that happen? So was I looking, oh well, <laughs> there's the park. I guess I was looking, I thought the Eiffel Tower was to the northwest though. So it would have been this way. That's that's so bizarre, but either way, um, 1.8 miles off, can't complain too much. 17,398. Um, I think the, the main two that really broke me were the the India rounds and the Brazil rounds, but I still got the countries right, which which I'm happy with. And everything else was, I would consider like a, a, a good score, pretty close. So uh, overall, I wouldn't say it was a terrible round. I would say that um, I did a good job of sort of identifying what needed to be identified. And it was just a matter of sort of figuring out what region in countries that I was less familiar with in GeoGuessr. But anyways, that's the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed my attempt at this uh, three minutes per round game. And if you enjoyed this, let me know and I'll do more of these. Thanks for watching.